this trend of saying someone is sad fishing or trying to pull the quote unquote sympathy card is very dangerous. If you're interested in skipping all of the pleasantries and just getting straight to the point, I have a chapter timestamps listed in the description box below. Feel free to skip this introduction. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bro. Welcome to my channel. I am Frontenay. And today, I'm going to be reading you my audio blog titled, Stop Gatekeeping Emotions. For the written version of this blog, you can visit me on my website. The link will be listed below. Now, I wasn't going to say, but since y'all brought it up, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. Go on. Go on now. I'll wait. do 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 yeah, I thought I was going to have to tell y'all twice. Ooh, and really quick. Do y'all remember that one time when I was telling y'all about that one time? Y'all remember that? <clears throat> well, anyway, to make a long story short, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Okay? Now, let's get into this audio blog. This trend of saying someone is sad fishing or trying to pull the quote unquote sympathy card is very dangerous. Not only is it dismissive and hurtful, but it causes people to hurt in silence and they may not reach out for help when they need it the most. Feeling sad and expressing it is healthy and very brave. I get excited to see so many people speaking out about their mental health challenges. It helps break the stigma surrounding mental health related illnesses and it encourages people to seek help. But by shaming people when they do, it sets the progress all the way back to step one. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to say you're struggling and it's okay to say you need help. These are normal feelings and it's very good for your mental health. I am proud of you. You got this. I am here. Do you guys ever have it where people are telling you stuff like, oh, you're just looking for the sympathy card or this new term of sad fishing? Have you guys ever experienced that? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Also, be mindful of how you allow others to handle you and forgive yourself for how you handled you. Please consider becoming a part of my village. I think you'll like it here. Until next time.